everyone welcome back to another vlog if you're new my name is lauren i am back from the bahamas i vlogged the trip and it was just one of my favorite trips i've ever been on i got to experience it with my family and my boyfriend and the best part is is that it didn't change at all since the past time that i was there six years ago Maybe like a few things changed, but right when we got there, I was like, everything's still the same. Everything's exactly how I remember it. And it's so great how now that I do YouTube, I have a video and a vlog to look back on all the time whenever I want. The funny thing is, you guys are literally going to laugh about this, is that I literally was out in the sun basically every single day and I did not get a tan at all. I don't know what it is. I have googled it so many times, but I've always thought that my self-tanner kind of like inhibits the sun from tanning my skin because I, I just don't tan anymore. I don't know what it is. And I've googled it so many times and it says that it has no impact on the sun tanning you or burning you or whatever, but I just don't understand. So even though I didn't get a tan whatsoever, I did get really dry skin from being out in the sun all day every day, the sunscreen being in and out of the water just dried my skin out and that leads me into today's sponsor of the video i would like to thank oc for sponsoring this video it has been such a lifesaver since i got back from my trip i wish i had this product in specific during my trip because it would have really helped with the moisturization of my skin and i have a few products that i want to share but this is the one product that i really want to highlight because it has changed the game for the hydration of my skin. I feel like the older that I get, I realize how dry my skin is and how dry my skin is continuing to get. It just drinks this product up. I used to have really oily skin, never really moisturized, never dealt with any sort of dryness. And I don't know what it is. I just have the driest skin and I moisturize all the time. So the product that I want to share with you is the Algae Body Oil and just wow. I mean, first things first, it smells absolutely incredible like you're at a spa, but it feels just as good as well. This is great for after the sun and also, you know, when you take the shower, when you exfoliate, shave, wash your hair, just do the whole nine this stuff perfect to put on after you take that shower it's so good so i wanted to share with you guys this leg doesn't have any of the body oil on and this leg does and just look at the difference between how great the skin looks on this leg compared to this leg this is just so moisturizing i usually put it on at nighttime because it can be a little bit oily and i just prefer to go to bed with something heavier on than wearing it during the day so this is the first product i wanted to share highly highly recommend and they also sell dry brushes on their site this is an incredible dry brush i've been dry brushing for literally years and i swear by it for the smoothness and the overall complexion of your skin on your body it is so good for increasing circulation and just removing all of the dead skin cells that you have and this is the perfect way to prep your skin for your shower and then to put this on after you will have the most smooth healthy looking skin literally ever so those are the first two products i did want to share i'm going to go through my skincare routine right now because i have a few products from oc that i've been incorporating into my current skincare routine so i'm still using a lot of the same products that i have been using and these new products fit perfectly into my current routine so i'm going to start off with vitamin c serum i've been using the juice beauty vitamin c so i start with vitamin c first while my um, vitamin C serum is setting in, I did want to say one of my favorite things that I love about OC. This brand has been around for over 20 years and they didn't start off with products having chemicals or certain ingredients that could harm you or the environment. They have had the clean beauty products from the start and that's over 20 years ago. And I feel like certain brands have started to incorporate clean beauty into their product line, but this brand has always been clean beauty, good for you, and good for the environment. 
and one of their main ingredients is actually seaweed which i think is so cool i did some research on seaweed and different forms of seaweed or different types of seaweed from all over the world has different benefits for you and your skin and i think it's so cool that seaweed has so many vitamins and minerals and good for you ingredients so i just think it's a really cool brand and i love their values and their beliefs and obviously love their products so far so now i'm going to put on the oc hyaluronic c serum and hyaluronic acid is just incredible for plumping your skin hydrating your skin so i have been loving this i haven't been using a hyaluronic acid in a really long time so it's been nice having this back in my routine it's so good literally hydrates so well now that the hyaluronic acid is on okay i'm gonna put on an eye cream really quick this is the modere eye cream i always put on eye cream um, before my moisturizer the next thing i'm gonna go in with is the oc seabiotic water cream at first i thought this would be a really good night cream only because my first impression of it was whoa this is like a little bit heavier for daytime but it seeps into your skin so quickly that I use it morning and night. It is truly like a weightless, I mean, they say it's a weightless water cream and it's truly so weightless. It feels heavy when you put it on, but it's not at all. It seeps in, moisturizes, and makes your skin feel really like healthy and just overall really good. That's for my daytime skincare. So the last product I wanted to share is the Sea Glow Overnight Serum AHA Acid Treatment. And I have been using AHAs for a really long time. I actually have never used a clean beauty AHA treatment. So I'm really excited to continue using this product. But what I do is, and I'm no dermatologist, so definitely if you have a dermatologist, consult with them first. But what I do is I do an AHA treatment one night, then retinol another night and then I do two nights of like a skin barrier um, recovery so I'll do like an aquaphor um, like skin slugging and then I'll do like an oil or moisturizer depending on what I'm into that night so I'm really excited to use this continue using it and incorporating it into my routine and trying out a clean beauty AHA treatment so I'll keep you guys updated on that but I did want to share all of these new skincare products that I've been using that are actually clean beauty. I've noticed that a lot of people are starting to incorporate more clean beauty into their skincare routine. So definitely check out OC if you haven't. I have a 10% off coupon code. I'll put it on the screen. I'll also link it down below along with all the products. I've actually been looking at their site this morning and there are a few more products that I want to order. So I'm definitely probably going to place an order today on some more of their skincare products. So Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you OC for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited about these products and I can't wait to continue using them and continue enjoying them. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair. It's already pretty dry now um, and get ready for the day. So I'll see you guys when I'm all ready. Okay, all ready for the day. I am just now getting into my car to go to Trader Joe's and I was just thinking so the only grocery store that I go to that I have a list is Publix I never have a list when I go to Trader Joe's and Costco I mean when I go to Costco I kind of get the same things but I never have a list when I go to Trader Joe's I honestly just let Trader Joe's take me where it wants to take me and I buy what I buy because I kind of just go there and just I go up and down every aisle I mean doesn't everyone but I haven't been to Trader Joe's in over a month so I'm really excited to go there and see if they have any new things and just pick up stuff for the next few weeks or months so Christian and I haven't done like a huge restock in probably almost two months so I'm really excited to go to Trader Joe's and we're going to Costco today as well so I'm excited to get everything restocked. I'm also excited to see if Trader Joe's has any new things for me to pick up. So I'm excited. I'll obviously do a haul when I get home. So let's go to Trader Joe's.
I am laughing. This was six bags worth of groceries. I got a ton of new stuff. So let's start over here. I got this vegan creamy dill dressing. This is so good, so good. I put it on fish too, and it's kind of like a tartar sauce. It's really good, salads, fish, anything. I got this baby kale. I was looking for spinach, but they didn't have any, which was kind of weird. So I got this baby kale to kind of mix with scrambled eggs or for salads, whatever. I got some carrots. I've been so into carrots and red pepper hummus. It's the best combo. Some tomatoes. I got this garden vegetable hash. I thought it'd be so good with eggs, like a scrambled egg or um, something like that, or even as a dinner side, like an easy one. Got some of this to sprinkle on eggs. Got this salad kit. I don't think it, it I don't think it comes with a dressing, but kind of just easy dinner side. Of course, got some turmeric shots and ginger shots. Got a white onion. I got three Honeycrisp apples. They looked so good. So like with peanut butter as a snack. I got some veggie fried rice. They haven't had orange chicken the past three times that I've gone to Trader Joe's. So I got this. I can't remember if I've tried it before. Orange chicken is honestly my favorite, but this will do. Got some of this caprese ravioli. This is so good. This goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli. So good. Of course, got two hash browns. And then I got a bunch of these fried rice. I don't know how to say that word, but this beef and fried rice. These are really good. I The serving size says that it's two and a half servings, but honestly, Christian can eat one of these whole bags to himself. So I usually cook two at a time. Sometimes Trader Joe's has serving sizes that like these are serving size, how many people? Two servings, I could eat this whole entire thing. Like I think this is the smallest serving size ever. Like I even think that this isn't enough for just one serving. So sometimes the serving sizes, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> because I can eat that whole thing. Got some of this gorgonzola gnocchi. I don't know how to say this word, forgive me, but I've never tried this gnocchi before, so I'm really excited. So I got some of that sweet potato gnocchi. I got two of those, one of my favorites. Center cut filet, got two of these. These are so good. Sweet potato fries, got two of those. I've never tried this. It's a multi-grain blend with vegetables. So I thought this would be a good, easy dinner side. Got some of these chicken soup dumplings. Got these um, Dr. Prager's California veggie burgers just for like an easy lunch. I only meal prep for four days out of the week, so it's always nice to have something in the freezer that I can quickly grab for that extra day out of the week that I don't meal prep for. I'm cheating. I usually don't buy instant rice. I usually just cook up regular rice, but the brown rice that I cook takes 45 minutes and sometimes it's so long and I just don't have time for that. So I decided to pick up the brown rice um, quick instant rice. I got some jasmine rice. Jasmine rice takes 15 minutes, so it's not even an issue. I know how to cook rice. It comes out great. So I just bought some jasmine rice at Trader Joe's. I'm so excited about this. So I checked the ingredients because Usually with vegan dips, it's substituted with cashews, and I don't think this has any cashews in it because I don't see any in the ingredients. So I'm so excited to try this. Got some chunky guacamole. This is so good. Are you kidding me? I love spinach chip, so I'm gonna try this. I've never tried it before. I mean, you can't really go wrong with spinach chip. I got some vegan tzatziki dip. I love tzatziki dip, it's so good. Non-fat yogurt, I love having this for like as a sour cream or just having it in the fridge, it's really good. So I just got, um, I mean you can use it for tons of different like substitutions and not having to use like sour cream. So for like chili on top of that, whatever. So I got this, got some sourdough bread. I did not know that they had chomps at Trader Joe's and I feel like they're a little bit cheaper than at Whole Foods, but I could be so wrong. But anyways, I don't have to make an extra trip to Whole Foods. I got some chomps. These are so good to have um, as snacks in the afternoon before dinner or something. I love snacks that have protein because protein really keeps me full for longer and it just like is a good satisfying snack. So I love having these in my purse or my work bag for those days where I just need something extra. Really good, especially if you're trying to get like more protein in, which I 
am. And these are just really good snacks and you don't have to like cook them or anything. And the ingredients aren't that bad. So I just feel like it's a really good, and look, nine grams of protein. This one has 10 grams of protein. So I feel like it's just a great snack to have in your pantry. Got some red potatoes. Okay, so I have seen this literally everywhere and I don't know what I'm gonna put it on, but I picked it up because I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, let me just get it. So I'm excited. It says to put it on protein or pasta. Honestly, it might be so good on literally everything. So I'm gonna try that. Got some of these elote chips. Got these pita crackers, some avocado. These were interesting. Salsa verde, corn tortilla chips, yum. Thought that would be good with one of the dips, like guacamole or something. Got these grainless tortilla chips, and then I needed some more seasoning. So I got onion salt, garlic powder, and this 21 seasoning salute, which is one of my favorites. So that's the haul. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I'm so glad that I did that. I'm gonna wait for Christian to get home. He's golfing right now. And then we're gonna go to Costco. just got home from Costco it's a lot later I got home went straight out went to Publix put all the Publix stuff away I just got milk and some fresh stuff for the week and then I went to Costco and I just got back from Costco we get around the same things but I'll quickly just do a haul got some more Tide Pods you get the best deal at Costco for Tide Pods this is 104 of them for 26 bucks and I swear you get like 32 or 42 for 26 bucks at Target. So if you have a Costco membership, definitely buy laundry stuff there. You get way more. Got some chicken, some salmon. Got some of this salami for like sandwiches, lunches on the weekends. We kind of don't have anything for weekend lunches. So we end up eating out um, lunch and dinner usually on the weekends or we're just like we eat a late breakfast and then we wait until dinner and we're like snacking all day. So I wanted to get something that we can have on hand for like something easy for lunches on the weekend. So I got some of this, it's like a big pack. And then some cheeses just for snacking or to pair with this on a sandwich, whatever. Got two, three packs of ground beef for lunch meal prep and two, three packs of ground turkey for meal prep. I got this just bare lightly breaded chicken. I thought it'd be good for like an easy lunch on the weekends, you know, just have something easy on hand so we don't have to eat out, spend money like that all the time. Got some of these um, Siete almond flour tortillas. These are great for breakfast tacos, breakfast quesadillas, tacos for dinner. Just great to have. And I got some of this avocado mash and I've never tried this style of it. Um, the ingredients were really good. It was just avocados, lemon juice, sea salt, and black pepper. So I thought this would be good to have just in case I don't have any ripe avocados. And I think this lasts a decent amount of time. September 25th. So it lasts probably like two months around. So I thought this would be really good to have just to put on something, make it easy. And then we get our eggs from Costco as well because they have like organic eggs for $7 a container, which is a lot cheaper than getting them anywhere else that has organic eggs. So that's the haul, I'm gonna put it all away. What's good about this stuff is this is already vacuum sealed. We just need to vacuum seal this and then the steaks from earlier, and then we're good to go. Literally, I turned on the camera and I can't believe how long my hair looks and I just got two inches cut off and it's so crazy It looks so long right now I don't know if it's the angle because my hair is straight or what but it looks so long. It's the next day. By the way, 
I tried that chili crunch thing from Trader Joe's that I got yesterday. I'm probably the last person honestly on earth to try it because I feel like it's been around and I've seen it online constantly for so long and it took me so long to try it but if you haven't tried it and you like sriracha hot sauce on literally anything and everything you would absolutely love it it's there is a texture to it because obviously it has like stuff in it it's not just a sauce but it's so good highly recommend i put it on my hash browns and then i went back and put a scoop of it on my eggs and it was so good so good but anyways today is sunday i have a bathing suit on under this i have my hunza g one which i love and i wore in the bahamas and orange is just my favorite color right now. I literally love orange and I never liked orange. I was like, but I'm just so obsessed with orange <laughs> right now. It's my favorite color. And I loved this bathing suit. I got so many compliments on it. It fits so well. It um, wears really well in the water and at the beach and in and out of the water. And it just like is very comfortable too because it's so stretchy and it like fits you and moves with you. And I think that's why I love it so much. Highly recommend, I'll link it down below. Um, we're going to the celebration area today to hang out at like one of the hotel pools. And then we're going to probably like one of my top restaurants. It's the Columbia restaurant um, in celebration. They have them like all over Florida. I don't know if it's, I think they have Definitely more than two locations because I've been to the one in St. Augustine and I've been to the one in Celebration and it's just so good, so good. So we're going there tonight for dinner and then we're going to like a popular ice cream place as well. So we're gonna have ourselves a little day. I think it's a really nice day outside. So I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna get a tan or anything but that's just so laughable. I literally think about it all the time, how I literally went to the Bahamas and I was joking with my friends. I was like, it's so funny how I went to the Bahamas tan and I'm coming back paler than when I left. It's just like so funny to me. But anyways, that's what's on the agenda for today. I don't know how much vlogging I'll do today, but um, I'll bring my camera just in case I wanna snap a few clips. I go back to work tomorrow and um, I did work two days this past week, but. Gotta, gotta get back into the routine of working a full five days because I haven't worked a full five days of work in literally uh, two weeks. So, gonna get back into that and um, yeah, try and relax today and get in the zone for getting back to work. So, anyways, let's head to, I guess, that side of Orlando. 